Hey everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services. Today we're going to talk about how to add a video or a movie to Logic. And um, the first thing you want to do, or really in some cases the only thing you need to do, is go to the File menu and say Open Movie and go to Navigate to the movie that you wish to open. And that's pretty much it. You see that uh, Logic helpfully adds a video track here. You can expand that if you like. You can actually see the video here as well. And um, you can right click on that and uh, it will uh, open to twice the size or however, um, whatever the size you like. You can control the uh, volume of the video by clicking on this little volume switch here and bringing that up. And uh, if, if that's all you need, if your video and your logic project are both starting at the same time, uh, you're pretty much done. However, we're going to go a little bit further in depth uh, because there are situations where uh, the movie will start prior to where actually music uh, is introduced. And also there's the issue of time code burn. Um, it's often helpful to uh, have your logic project um, be consistent with the time code burn so you know exactly where you are and you can um, uh, add markers and and uh, hit points and other things that uh, correspond to uh, the other people that are working on the project. So in order to do that what you want to do is go is again you can right click on your video and we're going to actually go to the video project settings. Uh, the other way to access this window is to go to logic preferences video and then click on video project settings it brings you to the exact same window okay so uh, this these are the settings for your project and uh, we see something here says movie start and um, this is in a case for instance if the music starts before the video actually starts playing so say you wanted the video to start three seconds in just click and I'm dragging that up to to go to three and uh, then the music will play um, before the video starts okay so uh, that's not what we want to do in this case but I wanted to show you that also this mu mu movie volume this is basically the same slider here if you see if you watch actually if I bring this down the slider here goes down and, and vice versa so just wanted to show you that as well. Let's go to synchronization. Okay. Now what we want to do is set the frame rate of our uh, of our film. If, and if you don't know it, it might be a good idea to just open that film in QuickTime and uh, see what it is. You can actually get to this window by showing Window Movie Inspector. Okay, or Apple Eye. And we see here, in fact, the frame rate is uh, 29.97. So that's good. So we'll close out a QuickTime. We don't need that and um, go back to logic select 29.97 now we want to also um, set the uh, the um, simpty offset okay and let's go back let's start our project at zero at the uh, bar one and I did that by hitting zero by the way hitting zero you'll find uh, hitting zero is very helpful a lot just to get to the beginning of your project as a nice little shortcut okay so if I wanted the um, simpty time to sync up here I need to enable the simpty offset and now what I can do is enter that number into the simpty offset uh, little field here so 0235 and uh, nothing has changed in the transport, but that's because the transport is actually showing the actual um, playhead position instead of the simply offset position. And uh, here's a nice little feature. You can right click on this and uh, it's just off the screen here, but um, basically if I go to giant, here, let me move this up a little bit so you can see it. Okay, I'm right clicking on this. And now I've got giant bar display and giant simply display. So I'm going to open that up. And look at that. I've got a nice big 
uh, simply display. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a bar display as well. Okay, now still zero is showing, but look at this. If I right click on that, use simply offset, view offset. Now look at this. My logic project syncs up with the time code burn, which is which is really good. And uh, that's that's very useful uh, if you want to want to sync up your your project that way. So, and I'll show you. You see here the transport is still showing the actual time. Of course, I could change this as well. I could say use simply offset, and this is basically, you know, the this window here is just a big old version of uh, what happens in this little uh, window here. Okay, that's almost where we want to be. However, I have been told that the uh, project needs to start at. Um, I need the project needs to start uh, not right at the beginning of the video, but a little further ways in. So, uh, specifically, it needs to uh, start at this um, uh, simply time, two thirty-five, thirty-nine, twenty-eight. Okay, so. Uh, that's just what uh, they told me, so we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and zero this out. And uh, get our project back to bar one. Now, the easiest way to do that is really just kind of drag this until you see the time code burn that corresponds to what we want. In this case, it's uh, 235, 39, 28. So let's just start dragging until we get to, let's see, there's. 39, whoops, 39, and then we'll get to 28, right there, good. By the way, uh, this is equivalent to going to the tempo list. See, it's 3126 is the actual simply time, 3126. If I drag this, or if I drag this, you know, either way it's the same this number will correspond to this and vice versa. So uh, just helpful to know where that also lives in case you're ever in the tempo list and you need to navigate. It's basically saying that bar one is starting at this offset, at this uh, simply position. So let's see, we, we said that was 31, 3126, I believe. 3126, that's good enough. Uh, good, so um, the final thing to do, of course, is remember, we're starting at bar one, so we need to display our simply time again uh, and have it correctly offset to this new time. So we're going to say 0, 2, 35, 39, 28. And uh, that's it. We can actually close out of this now. And you'll see here, if I start the um, project at uh, bar one, Everything uh, syncs up very well. Now, the thing to remember, uh, I can actually go back a couple bars to zero or minus one. The only thing to remember, of course, is that uh, some DAWs and sequencers don't like dealing with negative numbers uh, or zero for that matter. And if you're exporting to a MIDI uh, file that you then need to share with others, probably best to start your project at bar three. That's usually pretty common, and that way you have uh, you know two bars of, of lead-in clicks. But uh, for the time being, I'll just show you what it looks like if we lead into this with uh, two bars of clicks. We're actually starting in three four, so three four times, so it's six clicks, and we'll start at bar negative one, which is two bars prior to bar one, and then our cue will start. So that's uh, using video, adding video, and dealing with SMPTE offset in Logic. Uh, thanks again for watching. Be sure to visit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash NYC Music Services uh, to comment. And also uh, let us know some other ideas that you might have for future uh, tutorials in Logic, Finale, and Sibelius. Thanks for watching.